time to show you guys my tool tote, my tool bag here. Um, it is loaded up with way more shit than normal. So uh, I th thought I'd show you it at pretty much max capacity. It's not always running in this state. It's pretty much uh, looks chaotic, but I do, I promise you, there is some sort of organization here. So uh, let's just go jump right into it here. Um, I've wanted to be, uh, I've wanted to make this video in a little bit more detail for a while now. Um, you guys seen uh, this bag in my car video, if you've seen that one I just made, and of uh, my whole uh, third year electrician apprentice um, tools. And these are pretty much all my favorite tools. And they're, um, pretty much my favorite ones to talk about. So uh, let's go right into it. Um, right up here in the front side, this is going to be a lot of my conduit stuff and my everyday use tools. So these are the ones I'm going to grab most of the time throw in my tool pouch or my pockets, things like that. And these are going to be ones I'm using, um, also maybe thrown in my pockets, but these ones specifically is for conduit. Um, so right over here, these are conduit lock nut wrenches from a uh, half inch up to an inch. Um, then I've got my um, channel locks, uh, Cobra pliers from Knipex, but not really channel locks. Um, pretty much in every single way, they're, uh, they're, they're different. They're formed through the two handles. If you, if you guys don't know much about these pliers, they're, they're pretty great. A few other companies kind of copy them, but I love actual channel locks, the brand. Um, I didn't buy their uh, 20 inch ones because, you know, I don't know why I was at Home Depot and I bought these ones. Um, but I, I, I love channel locks, but these, uh, these pliers are amazing for what they do. Um, as far as the thin little heads, it's almost like a needle nose, be able to get in there and grab some things for getting um, MC connectors popped off. Uh, you really don't have another tool other than these for taking them off because on an MC connector you can only take them off with like a flat blade screwdriver and you're supposed to use that to pop up the whole um, connector and with these things you can just uh, grab, go right in there and squeeze the connector and pinch down all those little wings so you can pop it back out um, through the metal. So. Um, super useful as far as grabbing conduit and twisting it or like uh, even couplers and connectors um, you know twisting those at the right angle so everything lines up just right these are uh, probably one of my favorite tool and they're super lightweight they fit in your pocket super well and yeah I, I cannot recommend this tool enough if you were doing any kind of conduit work these these are amazing in every single way um, and superior to um, uh, channel locks, any type of channel locks. Um, but as far as uh, Crescent brand goes, they were just the cheapest ones I could find, so don't blame me there, but actual channel locks, I love them. And um, then let's go right into the bag here, um, past that. These are a few things I'm gonna go into that I usually don't have in here, and I usually don't have this bit set in here. Um, just happens to be in there. Um, I don't usually have uh, this hammer in here. Um, sometimes is in there, uh, but this is my kind of uh, in, uh, commercial hammer. And this is really great for uh, bending and shaping metal and getting some weight um, behind uh, your beater screwdriver or um, uh, you know trying to hammer in a, a piece of rebar or something like that really quick. Um, you know, if you don't want to go run all the way back to, um, you know, your car or the truck or wherever the rest of the tools are, this will get you have a good little pinch. It's not too big. It's not too heavy. Um, it'll do the job. So, um, and I don't have like an electrician's hammer in here because I'm not really pulling staples. I'm not really putting in staples. That's not really what I'm doing. So, um, then we've got um, that's this is pretty much the rest of the stuff usually stays in here. So I've got this uh, uh, conduit level. So going right back into the conduit stuff, we got the conduit reamer. Um, then we've got conduit or rigid um, uh, deburring tool or reamer. You can call it whatever you want. Um, it's got these little interchangeable blades here. These things are pretty sweet. Um, broke one just uh, yesterday actually. Um, and this is a little punch tool. 
um, push it down on a piece of metal and it'll click and put a little indent in it so then you can drill exactly right where that indent is. And then a uh, scoring tool by Southwire uh, lets you cut conduit and stuff. Uh, nice to cut it on the fly. Love you. Yeah, that was my son. And then right up here in these front pockets, um, I've got Klein Tools razor knife. Hey, buddy. Got Klein Tools razor knife and a Klein Tools uh, Allen set right there. And then I've got, sorry, Klein, but I got a little Harbor Defreight ratcheting screwdriver here. I really don't use these things enough to really justify buying the ratcheting one for 20 or whatever dollars. I was at Harbor Freight and I was like, you know, I'll just buy this thing, whatever. I still haven't used it. Um, got some extra batteries in there and I've got a lighter and I've got a little multi-bit uh, tack driver, precision screwdriver, whatever you want to call. Um, and then right here, these are my two tools. They're in my pocket pretty much most of the time, most of the time. Um, I love this screwdriver. Uh, this is my favorite one right now. It's got this, hey, I know you're watching your movie. This has the adjustable length screwdriver. My son's watching Toy Story. Um, adjustable length, or it's got the Phillips and flat. Uh, super nice, because when it's all the way down, you can put it in my tool pouch specifically, and it doesn't stick out very far past the bottom, so if you do set your bags down, your screwdriver doesn't fall all the way out. Um, that's one really bad thing about really long screwdrivers. So that's nice that you have something that's compact, can fit inside your tool pouch or even your, your back pocket, and then you have the length if you need it to extend that baby out. Um, and what's also super nice is if you keep a couple of these extensions or extra bits in your pocket, um, you can pop these babies right in there like that. And now you've got two, two nut drivers right here. Is that funny, bud? He loves this movie. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's a pretty sweet little uh, screwdriver. I love that thing. And then these wire strippers, um, that's what I use them for. This is pretty much the only <laughs> good wire stripping tool I have in here. Um, people say, yeah, this will strip wire. Yes, you're right. Strips wire just fine, um, but not as efficiently as these. And um, as far as actual wire strippers go, a lot of these heavy duty tools um, that are more like pliers, but have stripping capability in them. I bought them um, like these and these do okay, um, but I have some complaints. It's, you can't twist as many wires. The jaws aren't as wide as regular linemen's. Um, and you only have three stripping capabilities um, and you got huge cutter, cutters, which is fine, but like, the, even the strippers are kind of hard to strip. Like it's not the very, very good stripper at that. Mwah. I love you. And so these are actually a way better stripper. Uh, it's very intuitive. It's easy to line up. Uh, they pull off very nice. It cuts it very easily. And then I've got the Milwaukee uh, ones of these essentially. And it's got the lock. I hate locks, so that's great that it doesn't come with one. I love this spring-loaded. But the needle nose, the actual tip nose part of the Milwaukee ones, they just they just don't add up to these. These are like very, very similar to their their actual needle nose. I love you. Anyways, um, so yeah, they're very, very similar and they're very, very usable, unlike the Milwaukee ones. So um, I do like these things. These are always in my pocket. Um, and then we'll go right back here to this back row. We got the Wura um, Allen key ball in set. Um, haven't used these yet. Really can't say too much about them. I like the design of how they open up. As far as being able to uh, use them on much stuff, uh, I, I'm not sure yet. Um, if they just sit there and collect dust, we'll throw them to the other bag. So we'll kind of see there. Um, I've already showed you the uh, pipe reamer. I have a, a impact rated pipe reamer that I keep in my tool pouch. Um, I don't keep it in my bag. Um, so this way, whenever I have my tool pouch on, if I've got my impact or even my other screwdriver, right? Well, I've got multiple of them. 
uh, then I can just pop that baby in there and boom, I've got another pipe reamer. So that's great. Um, Multi-bit nut driver. Um, uh, this basically has made it where I have taken my whole set of other nut drivers and stored them away. Pretty much for good. And I'm going to talk more about that in another video coming up. I'm going to be making, I think here tonight, um, about my uh, spare tool bag. Um, anyways, stay tuned for that. But yeah, this thing's awesome. I love it. And uh, sometimes I'll keep it like that and I'll throw the extra bit off to the side. Um, right now, oh, that's even nice. Throw it in like that. That's a good magnet too. Anyways, then I've got my multi-tap uh, screwdriver. It is a multi-bit and I've got, love you buddy. And he wants me to come watch this movie with him. He keeps come grab me, trying to give me kisses, pull my hand, come sit down. Um, so yeah, and then we'll go right over here onto this side. The linemen's, you guys just seen these. These are the uh, J2000 series. They've got the heavy duty cutting. They've got the crimping and this little grabber right there. And honestly, I've always pulled fish tape, even without the fish tape puller. You just don't squeeze down that hard on them and you can't get your hands as close together. But you know what? You know, that's fine. Um, I will get the fish tape puller linemen's one day. Um, but these things are amazing. Um, we'll go right over here to my baby, my fluke meter. This is the T5600. Scary part of the movie. And uh, then I've got my Klein Tools non contact voltage dual range tester with a flashlight. If you upgrade to these a little bit nicer tick testers, the plastic itself is better and it is just nicer. So I highly recommend you guys do that. Um, or at least check them out. I know the fluke ones are good too. Um, you've got Milwaukee M18 drill. And I will say even with the uh, high output 3.0, it will fit sideways in the bag. So that is also nice. Um, got this little zipper bag. This is miscellaneous things that uh, I might need for the day. Um, I keep some extra sawzall blades, some extra, this is my pocket bit set. So if I need bits, I'm on the go, I throw this in my pocket. Yeah, it has a little wire stripper on it. It's so cheesy, never use it, never will. But, you know, extra little bits and all in a nice little set you can throw in your pocket. That is actually worth the money. So a few extra little things in there. Um, got a file from Old Harbor Defreights. And I've got a Klein Tools Big Beater screwdriver. I've got two quarter inch extensions because sometimes it's nice to get to those really hard to reach places. And extension for like a hole saw or whatever. And more sawzall blades right here on the side. Um, tape measure on the inside, like I, I think I've said, I love that. Love how they have the little tape measure holder on the inside. And aviation 10 snips, these are Midwest. Uh, I don't even know, they're angled, they're not the straight ones. I like the angled ones though. And uh, we'll go over here onto this side. I love these, this whole set. Um, if I'm working on a lift or something like that, I'll tie some wire between two of the bars and I'll hang my impact right on the wire and I'll clip these on there. And it's just nice to have, you know, bits that you can, you know, have there accessible. You know what I mean? I mean, even just be able to, once again, throw these in your pocket too or clip them onto your, your belt or something like that. Um, these are very, very handy. Um, and they're pretty durable. I like them. Uh, these are my babies. This is the Milwaukee Shockwave Impact Rated Unibits. Man, are these things nice. Haven't really used that big one. I used it on some plastic, but I've used this one on a bunch of metal already. And, uh, I love you. Yay. And 
It works great for uh, half inch knockouts, uh, for uh, conduit, uh, you know, lock rings and stuff like that. And uh, for MC connectors and stuff like that. And that's the size you need. So that one gets used a lot. And this is more for little screw holes, you know, pre-drilling a hole, you know, um, uh, pre-drilling a hole in the back of a light to get a screw through it or something like that. And then this is the big boy. Um, still haven't really used this one yet, like I said, but um, keeping it nice in the case. These things are normally $130 on Amazon, and I got these at my, whoa, my local supply store for uh, $92 before tax. So that was pretty great. And uh, I think that's almost it. I got a couple more unibits in here. These are Harbor Freight Unibits, in case someone else needs to use them or if I'm really just beating something up and I'm having to, I really don't want to beat up my nice ones. I can beat up these or, you know, an apprentice needs to use it or someone I don't trust. Here you go, dude. Got these for you. So there's those. And uh, wire nut spinner, little magnetizer here on the side, demagnetizer. And then we'll flip this around so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, I've got this strap. I usually use the strap, so it's fine keeping this folded down most of the time. I can pick it up by this, move it around like that. Um, anyways, um, right here on the side, I've got um, these uh, Kinepex. Um, they call these plier wrenches. That's right, plier wrench. And man, these things are nice. You can actually get to the right size of the bolt and then squeeze down with force and like really uh, grip the bolt while you're turning it compared to you know even an uh, adjustable wrench or a normal wrench you're gonna have some wiggle in there and you can't really squeeze the bolt so um, that's super nice great engineering by those Germans once again um, over on this pocket I've got the micro USB tester laser distance uh, meter and <laughs> my son and then my goodness i can't get it out klein tools uh gfci plug so little electronics pouch there and then i've got skinny knife razor knife flashlight some sharpies and pencils and then this is a daredevil set um, sometimes you go through wood sometimes you know um we got a little beater screwdriver this is the Southwire um, insulated screwdriver set. And yeah, guys, I think that's about it for the whole back. Pretty much rushed, rushed through that last part. Um, but yeah, my son's uh, getting pretty cranky, so I'm going to go hang out with him. And uh, if you guys like this video, please smash that like button, hit subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more videos here soon. Um, going to be buying a lot more uh, Klein tools and uh, um, going to be dropping a new video here um, about my uh, separate home bag. So stay tuned for that, guys, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks. Take care. Bye.